Hi all, welcome to a new video. In this video, we will discuss about the medical terms that is actually given in our CPT book itself. Uh, you can refer your CPT book for the medical terms that is given in page number 22. It is given in Roman number XXII. So when you check that, in that page, you can see all medical terms, whatever is given in the book. And in addition to that, there are so many words. In the next video, I will cover that also. So in this page, first you can see prefixes, suffixes and rows. So we, we will see that now. So under the medical terms, the first subheading, what you are going to see is related to numbers. So the prefix which we will be adding for numbers is mono uni. Mono and uni means one. For example, monocyte unilateral. So both these will say that it is related to one structure. Monocyte is one single cell and unilateral is one side. And bi, bi means two. Bilateral is two sides. Then tri, tri means three. Triad, triad means there will be three things together. Then quadr, quadr means it's related to four. Quadriplegia, all the four limbs are paralyzed. That is quadriplegia. Then the word hex or sex, that will refer to the number six. For example, hexose, it is a kind of glucose molecule which has got six molecules of glucose. Then diplo, diplo means double. For example, diplopia, double vision. In exams, I have seen a question like this. What is diplopia? Diplopia is double vision. Opia is related to vision. Now we will check the medical terms for surgical procedures. Synthesis. It is a suffix which will be added to another word to make it a complete word. For example, amniocentesis. So suffix means it will be added at the end of the word. Amniocentesis is removal of fluid from the uterus and the fluid that is removed is called amniotic fluid. So the procedure is actually puncturing a cavity to remove fluid. So this synthesis can be done in any part of the body. Pericardiocentesis, pleurocentesis, amniocentesis like that we do so many procedures but the main procedure is puncturing a cavity to remove the fluid. Next is ectomy. Ectomy means surgical removal. And another term for surgical removal is excision. Excision. Excision is a surgical removal procedure. And for that, the example will be appendectomy. Appendectomy is surgical removal of the organ appendix. Next, you have ostomy. Whenever the use is os, os means is an opening. Ostomy is making a new permanent opening. And sometimes they will place a tube inside that opening. And the procedure example for this ostomy is colostomy. Colostomy is making an opening or a permanent opening in the colon. Colon is the large intestine. So in the large intestine, if they are going to make a permanent opening, it is referred to as colostomy. Like that, there are so many things. Enterostomy, ileostomy, pneumonostomy. Like that, there are so many procedures. Next is ostomy. This is a very common procedure we come across in the CPT book many times. Ortomy means cutting into or making an incision. It can be said as making an opening or a cut. But after that, they will close it. So it's not a permanent opening. So ortomy is opening or a cut or it can be said as incision. And the example for this procedure is tracheotomy. Tracheotomy. Then you have raffi. Rafi means it is suturing and repairing the structure. So if they are going to do hernio raffi, hernio raffi means it's suturing the hernia, suturing the hernia. Then pexi, pexi means surgical fixation. Pexi means surgical fixation. So we are going to fix some organ, then it will be called as pexi. So nephropexy is fixation of the kidney. Nephropexy is fixation of the kidney. And then you have plasty. Plasty is surgical repair or reconstruction. Surgical repair and reconstruction will be referred to as plasty. So rhinoplasty is repairing of the nose. 
then you have tripsy tripsy means crushing and destroying something crushing and destroying something the example for that the procedure will be lithotripsy lithotripsy is crushing and destroying a stone from the kidneys litho means it refers to stones so lithotripsy is crushing and destroying the stones then uh, medical terms related to conditions under that we will see prefixes first ambi ambi means both ambi means both so ambidextrous means a person or a, a human who can do uh, activities with both the hands equally ambidextrous that means it refers to a person who can work equally with both the hands and iso unequal and iso is unequal and also you can see a term under this go down to the term iso iso so an iso and iso are opposite to each other an iso and iso are opposite to each other an iso is unequal iso means it will be same or equal so an iso example for that will be an iso chorea that is unequal pupils of the eye inside the eye we have a structure called pupil so if the pupils are unequal it is referred to as anisocoria then you have the word dis this means bad painful or difficult an example for this will be dysphoria dysphoria if someone is not feeling well they are feeling little bad they are little disturbed the feeling will be called as dysphoria then you have u u means good and normal and euthanasia is an example for you but this word euthanasia means it's mercy killing so giving someone a good death or a normal death who is suffering for a long time is referred to as euthanasia then you have two words hetero and homo hetero means different homo means same so hetero is heterogeneous that means two different things are there homogeneous means same everything is of same consistency or same uh, tone it is said to be homogeneous so if you mix something and if the liquid is like uh, clear after mixing something it is called a homogeneous mixture but after mixing two things if they are like separate separate then it will be called as a heterogeneous mixture then you have two terms hyper and hypo hyper means excessive or above hypo means deficient or below example for hyper will be hypertension that means patient has got increased blood pressure hypotension patient has got low blood pressure and it can also be said as hypergastric or hypogastric that means above the stomach or below the stomach so both the meanings are same for hyper above excessive or deficient below then as i told you iso means equal and same isotonic so two different solutions which have same tonicity it is called as isotonic then you have the word mal mal means something bad or poor something bad or poor you would have heard about a word called malaise malaise means someone who is not feeling well feeling very tired that will be said as malaise then megalo megalo means big or large so megalocardia means it refers to a big heart so now we will see about some suffixes so suffixes related to diseases algia algia means pain algia means pain so example for algia is neuralgia neuralgia means pain in nerves asthenia asthenia means weakness myasthenia is muscle weakness anemia is related to blood and anemia is less blood or lack of blood iasis iasis means condition of then amoebiasis is an example of iasis that means patient has got condition of amoebic disease itis this is very important because many times we come across this word itis itis means inflammation inflammation means it's actually due to some injury or uh, infection to a body part that part of the body will become red swollen and painful 
that is inflammation so whenever the doctor is saying that there is some inflammation it refers to that that organ has got some redness pain and swelling so appendicitis is an example of itis is an inflammation of the appendix then you have lysis lysis means destruction or breaking down hemolysis hemolysis is breakdown of blood heme is also a term which is referring to the blood heme is also a term which is referring to the blood lytic means substance which can destruct something so hemolytic means hemolytic substances which can destruct the blood then oid oid means it's looking like similar like that morphonoid features like that they will say like koi means it looks like lipids lipids means fat oma oma means tumor oma means tumor for example carcinoma pati pati means disease of some organ so neuropathy arthropathy myopathy everything says that that part of the body has got affected by some disease so arthropathy means patient has got joint disease regia that means it's something like flowing hemorrhage hemorrhage means bleeding is there hemorrhage is bleeding is there so if they say menorrhagia that means someone is having menstrual bleeding in females the period's blood loss is referred to as menorrhagia rhea rhea means flow or discharge flow or discharge amenorrhea menorrhea is referring to periods a menorrhea is absence of periods or lack of periods then you have osis osis means abnormal condition of for example tuberculosis tuberculosis means it's an abnormal disease affecting the lungs paresis paresis means it's weakness hemiparesis that means half of the body is weak the muscles are weak plasia plasia means growth so there is some new growth or something is there so it will be referred to as a hyperplasia hyperplasia means it's overgrown or excessively grown then you have plegia plegia means paralysis so paraplegia hemiplegia all those things are referring to paralysis apnea it's related to breathing so if someone is having apnea means patient is not able to breathe having some difficulty in breathing that is apnea then uh, medical terms in relation to directions and positions you can see some prefixes here so first we will see that ab ab means away from the body moving away from the body is ab for example abduction when we move the legs away from the center of the body it is called abduction then ad ad means towards adduction bringing the legs closer to the body that is adduction then you have ecto exo that means outside so ectopic or exocrine something present outside that is ecto exo endo means inside or within so endoscope endoscope is visualization of internal organs with the help of a camera that is endoscope then epi epi means something present upon the organ or something epigastric something is on the stomach epigastric is something on the stomach then you have infra infra means below or under so for that the example will be here it is given as infrastructure but you can change it as infra tentorial infra tentorial then you have ipsi ipsi means same ipsi lateral is same side then you have meso meso means in the middle mesopexy so fixing something at the middle then you have meta meta means after beyond or transformation so something has spread it from one place to another it will be said as metastasis metastasis then you have peri peri means surrounding peri means surrounding pericardium surrounding the heart surrounding the heart retro retro means behind or back retro means behind or back so retroversion that means the organ is placed little behind that is retroversion then trans trans means across or through across or through example for trans will be trans vaginal 
transvaginal or transcutaneous through the skin through the vagina it is trans okay now we will continue with other words anterior or ventral that means at the front or near the front surface of the body anterior or ventral then you have posterior or dorsal that means it is at or near the back of the surface of the body so anterior and posterior front and back ventral and dorsal are near the front or near the back then you have superior superior means above inferior means below there is another term for superior and inferior supra and infra supra means above infra means below then you have lateral lateral means side distal distal means farthest from the center farthest from the center of the body proximal nearest to the center nearest to the center medial means towards the midline medial means towards the midline and lateral or distal it's away from the midline lateral or distal will be away from the midline then you have supine supine means the face will be facing upwards or we can use it for palm upwards position also so supine is face up or palm up prone is face down or palm down face down or palm down so i will give you an easy way to remember this in supine you have the term up so face or the palm will be facing up in supine position and in prone it will be down sagittal transverse and coronal planes for this in your book you have a picture in the next page so you can check that to understand what is this sagittal and transverse or coronal planes so if you go through this picture you will understand the planes coronal plane coronal plane is also called as the frontal plane which divides the body into front and the back halves it's dividing the body into half but it is dividing its front and the back then you have sagittal plane sagittal plane will be dividing the body into right and the left side it is also called as a median plane because it is dividing the body in the midline towards the right and left that is sagittal plane then you have horizontal plane it divides the body into upper half and lower half it can also be called as transverse plane because it is transversing to the opposite side so horizontal or transverse will divide your body into upper and lower halves sagittal plane will divide your body into right and the left side and the frontal or coronal plane will divide your body into front and back so these are the planes so this is there in your book in page number 26 so many times in the exam they ask one question from this and also they ask one medical term also so all these are there in your book and apart from this there are so many medical terms in our book uh, which will be like uh, we will be seeing it with so many chapters but that is not mentioned in this uh, medical terms uh, section but i will do one thing i will make a separate video for that i will give you uh, to the maximum whatever medical terms we use in cpt book all of them i'll put it in a different video so thank you